Christians, of course, have strong ties to Israel and the Jewish people. And Dr. Cornelius Becker is the chair of biblical studies at Regent University and, and joins us now to explain this eternal relationship. So interesting. So why do you think that Christians feel a special connection with the Jewish people, with Israel? The history of Israel ahead is, of course, our history. The history of Israel is about God's choice. God chose Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph here, the very tomb that's now been set on fire. And so we feel a, 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 a kinship with Israel because it's about God's choice and it's our history. Jesus was a Jew, Paul was a Jew, the early church were all Jewish. Mm -hmm. Going beyond politics right now, what do you think are the potential reasons why we are seeing all this violence in Israel? I think throughout the history, many forces have risen up against Israel. And in my reading, it's always about God's sovereignty. God's choice. This is an affront not only to Christians, but ultimately against the sovereign choice of God. So for Christians sitting at home who sometimes it's easy to get numb to what's going on, why should they really care about what's happening in Israel? I think this is a marker of something greater that's happening in the world, and this is indeed forces rising up, not only against Israel, not only against Christianity, but against the reign of God Himself. Mm. How do you encourage Christians here to pay attention, watch, help? Uh, how should we be responding as we're, he we're hearing about all this? I think two very important things that we need to do immediately. First and foremostly, I think all Christians should stand up in support of Israel and the Jewish people. These uh, people are indeed part of our heritage. And and secondly, as the scripture says, we have to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Prayer, prayer, prayer. All right. And explain a little bit about some of the prophetic significance right. about Israel. Right. And so ultimately, when you look at especially the Apostle Paul, Paul says that the history of Israel is a test about God's faithfulness. Will God do what he said he would do for Israel? And of course, once God has done what he said he would do for Israel, he would do it for the church and he would do it for the rest of the world. And this is the reason why it's so important. Well, I know it has a lot of people's attention this week and really interesting to think about our response as Christians and, you know, how we should be observing it all. So, Dr. Becker, thanks for your time. Thank you. A privilege.